All right, everyone, welcome back to the channel, and we are looking at storage. So storage from where you are right now at 34. Uh, you're trying to hold on to this support down here at the bottom at 33. If you lose 33, you're ultimately going to come down here to the 1618 support at about a 52% drop down here to 16 cents on storage. Uh, you may be wondering, as I wonder, it's, it's kind of fascinating, you know, why did it dip below? And stop right here if you actually take and you draw another fib from this little low here to that high there you can see that it's set perfectly on the 1618 support at that uh, little micro fib there at 29 so apparently everybody's watching every little fib level there level <laughs> every little fib level there is you know you know they're shorting at resistance they're buying at support uh, even on the micro ones, so I thought that was very interesting. So, but ultimately here on storage 33, if that does not hold, uh, you're going to eventually come down here to 16. So, if you do believe storage is going to survive the bear market, you know, just treat these as DCA opportunities for storage. You know, a 16 cent so, uh, storage rather is is a great buying opportunity, not financial advice, of course. But you know, you just you got to load your bags up where you can. So that's the whole point of me looking at the three day chart here. We're trying to gauge where these things are actually headed to before that next bull run. So if you, if you believe in storage and you want a dollar cost average in, you're at 33 now, you lose 33, you're coming down to 16 and then we'll just take it from there. The next level is all the way down here to 2618 at five cents. So, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. Uh, hopefully you guys make it out alive in the next bull run. So don't let the FUD get to you. Don't let anybody naysay, you know, if, if you can afford it and not financial advice, of course, and you want a dollar cost average into whatever project you like, you know, just watch this price here, 33, load up a little bit, 16, load up some more. And then that next bull run, you know, you'll be happy. So that's really all I can do is point out what the chart is really telling us and my opinion. So you are getting stuck on this moving average here you're in a massive downtrend here um you would even you could even say that you are in a yeah you might be in a descending triangle here yeah so if we draw that there this is your bottom line here of the triangle yeah um the only way you flip bullish on storage in the short term is get over the 786 here at 42. that would break this downtrend on the top of this triangle and you would move higher <laughs> but like i said a downtrend bearish continuation pattern and it just looks like it wants to go down you may have a couple of stops like i said for kind of stair stepping down but ultimately it looks like it wants to come down to 16. you are bullish on the rsi uh the macd you can't even see that damn thing down there it's bullish on the macd also but that just that's just because you have this green candle that's spawned in here it's trying to hold support at 33. So hopefully you guys understand what I'm getting at. Look over at the Heikinashi. Heikinashi is printing indecisive here. So the chart is telling me that it's struggling. It's struggling real hard to hold this support here at 33. And you're being pushed out by the moving average, the bearish pattern, this little mini downtrend, the macro downtrend. And ultimately, I would say that storage is going to come down here and tag 16 at some point. So just take that into consideration if you're thinking about investing in storage. And with that said, hopefully you guys enjoy the content, like the videos, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one. Not financial advice. Peace out.